Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just joking, welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona from Fast and the Furious 6. Now this is Dominic Toretto's Dodge Charger, obviously, because who else drives a Charger in the Fast franchise? It's got to be Toretto. And in this one we're going to be using the Gauntlet Classic and we're in Benny's for the first time in forever. I can't remember the last time I was in Benny's creating a car. So like I said already, we are in the Gauntlet Classic. And I've already had a few people say to me that this is not a Dodge Charger, this is a Dodge Challenger. Because um, I've done previous builds using this um, as a Dodge Charger. And like I say to everybody who questions my builds, I am using the tools that Rockstar are providing us. Nothing in this game is 100% going to be exactly like the real life counterpart. So without any further ado guys, we're going to jump straight in. So we're going to go with the Benny's upgrade and it's going to cost you $570,000. Which, to be honest, isn't that bad because the price of the car is like $615,000 I think. Um, plus the $570,000, you're probably looking at about 1.2 mil, which is fair enough. In today's market of GTA cars, 1.2 mil is the average price of a brand new car. So I'm not too worried about purchasing it. It's going to be the Gauntlet Classic Custom. It's $570,000. Let's get it. Now as it transforms, you can see it is the front which transforms the most. It looks a little bit longer as well. Um, the rear looks different. Not too much, but slightly different. But that's that front end is 100% a complete transformation. And that's where the Daytona comes from. So without delaying any further, let's get straight into creating this Dodge Daytona from Fast and the Furious 6. So as always, we're going to go and grab 100% body armor. We're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes bumper, front bumper. So as it is at the moment, the front part of this car is pretty much what we need. But ideally, we could do with a splitter. And as you can see, I am changing options, but you don't really see much changing. So I'm going to come down to the bottom and show you exactly what's changing. Things that you'll never see. <laughs> and this is what it is. You'll never see these. And they are literally just grill changes. That is it. Or vent changes, whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, they're that minor and that obscure and that hidden. You're never going to realize that these have, have changed. You know, in my opinion. But then you come to things like this. This is where you're going to notice the change. When they're on the top of the car where you're going to see them. But yeah, any, anyway, all these options we don't need. I was after a front splitter, you know, just a tiny little splitter to go underneath. We can't get it, uh, so we're going to have to stay stock for the front bumper. For the rear bumper, we get a few options. I can't see these being crazy options, but there are obviously going to be something in here that we can use for this build. And this primary bumper is going to be more than likely going to be the one that we go for because we need to color code it. Uh, I'm going to quickly jump through these so you can see them all anyways. Uh, yeah, so... All of these are pretty cool, you know, if you're creating any sort of car, but because we're building the Daytona from Fast 6, we're going to have to go with the primary bumper. So next we've got the chassis option, and it being a Benny's vehicle, obviously we get an option for aerials, which are pretty cool options, but we don't need any of them, so we're going to stay none. The rear cover, so we've got the primary panel and the secondary panel. And because this rear panel is also color-coded to the same color of the car, we are going to go with a primary rear panel. Roll cage, we do need a roll cage in this bad boy. Nothing too crazy, so I think the half cage will be adequate enough. Then we've got the engine option, we're gonna go with a level four engine upgrade. Next we've got the exhaust. We want some side exit exhaust if we can get them. And we can get them, they're called the side exit exhaust, as you can see, and they are perfect. They are exactly what we need. So next we've got the headlight covers. So as you can see, they are pop up at the moment. Uh, the headlights on this car in Fast 6 are black. So, we've got full black lights which are awesome, that's exactly what we need. So then we're gonna move on to the hood. On the hood we do have two intakes, uh, very large intakes as well, but they're flat intakes, they're not ones like these, for like a snorkel intake. Hopefully we can get them. Um, there they are, they're the ones, the deep inset. Awesome, that's exactly what we need. So we do also get an option for hood catches, which we are gonna purchase. We're gonna purchase these primary hood latches. And the next thing we've got is nose accessories. Ah, here we go, bumper lip. This Maybe this is where we're going to get the splitter. Who knows, maybe. 
Come on, fingers crossed. We don't. Unfortunately, we get some weird little fucking plastic thing that goes on the uh, end of the end of the car, which is very odd. Yeah, but uh, no nose accessories. We we don't need any of that. So next, we get an option for the interior. This is obviously all going to be personal preference because because this is a car build. Mainly is focusing on the exterior of the car. If you guys want to do stuff to the interior, it's entirely up to you. I don't play it in first person, so the interior is irrelevant to me. I'm not really that worried about it. But because it's a Benny's vehicle, it is an option. So if you'd like to change it up, you can do. Go quickly jump through the uh, the options anyways. We've got the street interior, then we've got the full race, rally, the flock dash, and then the carbon dash. Nothing really actually changes. You've still got this horrible wood, wood effect in there as well. And it's just sort of like the modern gadgets going around the wood and it just looks yeah. So for that reason, you might as well just keep it stock. Unless you play first person and you love the look of a rally dash. I don't know, but it's not for me. So I'm just going to leave it for the stock. Then also you get options for dials. Like I said, it is a Benny's vehicle. So you do get all these different options for dials. I actually like the look of this um, pod mount attack on the top. I think that looks quite cool. And I think you could see that from the outside as well, which might make it look a little bit more race car -y. So I'm going to go for this pod mount attack only because you're going to see it from the outside. Obviously, you get options for doors as well. Like I said, it's a Benny's vehicle, so you get all these types of options. And I like the fact that this takes away the wood effect as well. So I might actually grab some of these. I'm just going to go with a carbon door panel. So then we've got options for seats. Obviously, we want to grab some racing seats in these bitches. I'm going to grab these Mark 1 rally seats. Steering wheel is also an option if you'd like to change it. Like I said, the same thing about the dash. I never play first person, so I'm never going to really benefit from changing the steering wheel. So I'm just going to leave it as the stock one. And again, light colours. Not not for me. Not the sort of thing I'm going to be doing. But just to let you know, it is an option and it is there if you'd like to change it. Then we're going to move on to the lights. We've got headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So then we get an option for the mirrors. Hopefully we can get some chrome mirrors. We can. Second option down. Awesome. That's exact. Ooh, hang on. We get some bullet mirrors as well. I think they're a little bit more like what we need. And they are. The bullet mirrors are the ones we're going to go for. So now we're going to come down to the main transformation of this car, in my opinion. We're going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary color. We're going to go metallic. And we're going to go and find this garnet red. It looks awesome, man. It looks very similar to what we need. And it just pulls the car all together. <laughs> Real nice. So garnet red is, def is, is, is a definite must for the primary. And also for the secondary, we're going to go metallic and purchase garnet red. So we also get a roof option. Again, we don't really need anything in this category. Um, because the roof, how it is, is, is pretty much how we need it. Uh, we do get a vinyl option. You also get a carbon option as well, if you'd like them. Um, for different types of builds, obviously not for this one. Um, but yeah, stay stocked for the roof for this build. So next we've got a side skirts option. Hopefully we can just get rid of this bl black or chrome trim, whatever that is. I can't really make, make out what it is. It might be chrome. <laughs> it might be black chrome. I don't know. But anyway, we need to turn that to the same color as the rest of the car if we can. Which we can with this primary custom skirt. And that's the one we're going to go for. Awesome. This is what I've been waiting for. Luckily enough, we do get an option for splitters. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually get that splitter that we need. I was a little bit worried that we weren't going to get it at some point. You know, obviously we want to pass the, the nose extensions on the nose accessories. And also we passed the front bumper options. I was a little bit worried that we weren't going to be able to get it. But we do get a split option, which is awesome. And I'm so happy that we get this split option. And this full wedge splitter is the one you want to grab. So next we've got the spoiler option. Obviously, anybody who knows what this build is, is going to know what, what spoiler we're looking for. It is a massive spoiler like this bad boy. It is called the primary super spoiler and that is 100% the one that we need. That looks awesome man. So cool. So next we've got the suspension option. This is a is a pretty low car as standard so I don't want to go crazy with it and if you go competition with this car you don't get any camber like you do with the Penumbra FF which is great because I'm not a massive fan of the camber um, but I am a fan of slammed you know with a very low look competition for this build i think is a little bit too low um like i said stock suspension is pretty low as it is so what we're going to go with we're going to go with the street suspension so we're going to go midway transmission we're going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning then we're going to go to the wheels we're going to go wheel type and into we're going to go into the sports category we're going to go chrome for this and we're also going to go and grab 
these Endo V.2 rims. They look awesome. Also here, you might as well go and grab the bulletproof tires. I know Dom does not have bulletproof tires in Fast 6, but this is LS, this is Los Santos, and you've got motherfuckers shooting at you all the time, and the last thing you need is a flat. So go and grab your bulletproof tires. It's a must. You do also get an option for a wheelie bar and a shoot. Uh, we get a wheelie bar and a shoot. We don't need none of that, but it's a cool option if, if you uh, would like to add it to a different type of build. Next, we've got the windows. We are going to grab a light smoke window tint. And the last option we've got is window plays. I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, maybe it's the actually, yeah, maybe it's like the little plaques you get in the back window. Maybe. I think, I'll, no, it is louvers. Okay. All oh, right, I was not expecting that. That's cool, man. Some nice options, some nice additions to the Gornet Classic. Uh, but we don't need them, so we're going to say none for that. And that is it, my dudes. As you can see, this looks awesome. Hopefully, when we leave Benny's right now, uh, it's not going to be dark. It's going to be light, so we can actually see what it looks like. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Oh, and as you leave Benny's, you can see the beauty of this car. This looks awesome. This looks so good. Um, obviously, previously to previous to this car, we used to use the Phoenix to create this build, which was the best car for the time for this for this build um, but now you can see how how far GTA has come and how far Rockstar have let us come with these Fast and the Furious cars because they know that we love them they must do because they had so many liveries so many cars which are similar to the Fast and the Furious movie and uh, we have just created probably my favorite Fast and the Furious car in this game because it is so close to the real life counterpart it is unbelievable we've got the side exit exhaust we've got the right rims we've got the right lights we've got the right bumper we've got the hood latches we've got the right hood we've got the splitter we've got the spoiler we've got, even got the wing mirrors man it just looks awesome i can't really pick anything about this car which is wrong even the rear tail lights look good you know and i'm so happy with the way this has turned out it just looks awesome it looks so good and compared to the phoenix it is miles ahead of that it just looks so good, man. So, so much like the Daytona from Fast 6. I'm so happy with it. I think it looks awesome. I know I keep going on about it, but I'm I'm actually quite stunned of how much this actually looks like the Daytona and how Rockstar have allowed us to create this car. Thank God and thank Rockstar for giving us the Gauntlet Classic Custom. It is awesome. So on that bombshell, I'm going to leave the video right there. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.